Hi, I'm Angus Wright and I also go by Angus by Design and this is another day in a personal practice that I call a satsang for one where I listen to an episode of the Ram Dass Be Here Now podcast. I journal about it online. I write down some quotes in my physical journal and then I draw a an animal oracle card in order to cultivate mindfulness and for reflection. Uh, this is all part of my personal uh, wellness recovery action planning and part of my daily maintenance for maintaining my own health and wellness. Um, so let's start. <laughs> uh, so today's episode was called Here We Are. <clears throat> So who is running who? It's like you put on a space suit and it comes with a control center. Little computer inside that runs it. The question is, is that who you are? That's Ram Dass. Uh, The next quote is under voluntary simplicity. I resolved to keep lightening my game as much as I could. But when you have beautiful things that are part of your, part of the beauty of your life, of course you enjoy them. What happens is, as you keep becoming more light in your conscious, you feel less desire to collect stuff. What you have already is part of the beauty of your universe. And the last quote is under, here we are. In life, there are frustrations. There are angers. They will arise. The question is going to be how much your awareness clings to the anger, not whether the anger arises because there are justifiable reasons for anger. And that's Ram Dass. So that's really good stuff to reflect on while putting the energy into the oracle. So the idea of, of being comfortable in the feelings of anger and frustration. Of course, there are reasons to feel those things. The idea being how much we're attached to them and what purpose does that bring to us, right? Let's see. Stag. Uh, So stag spirit says, take the lead. So let's see what the stag has to say. Stag spirit, take the lead. The oracle message. Whether or not you have set your intentions to lead, you may have found yourself suddenly called to step up to the forefront of your life. Stag spirit is a reminder that now is a time to heed the call to be sure, strong, and compassionate. Others will look to you and you have it within you to see through the eyes of stag spirit and walk with confidence as you take on the responsibilities that are yours now and model integrity in all that you do and in all your relationships. Be willing to see the best in others so that your compassionate heart keeps you on the right path. 
Stag Spirit wants you to know that your responsibilities now are to yourself too, for you are learning and developing new skills. The best in you is, become, is coming into view as you step forward with strength knowing that spirit supports you as you compassionately take the lead. You are a model for transformation now, sharing your experience, strength, and hope with others so they may grow and discover their best selves too. What a gift you are. Stay humble and authentic and walk your talk. For this is how a wise leader leads. The protection message. <clears throat> Others may not be as far along as you on your journey. When stag spirit appears in the protection position, you are called to be compassionate and patient as you find yourself leading the way. When others struggle to follow you, they may be unsure that you can be trusted, challenge, challenging you to be kind and strong, challenging your value and questioning your worth. Know that Spirit has put you in this place at this time for a purpose and will not abandon you when you need help with your new responsibilities. Or perhaps you are actually uncomfortable leading, maybe temporarily trapped by your small self and are therefore promoting yourself too strongly. Afraid that others might see weakness or imperfection in you. Let go of your fears and let stag spirit remind you that you have what it takes to lead wisely and ethically if you practice self-honesty and listen to others who wish to support you. Yeah. Uh, I love that card. <laughs> I love how it relates to, uh, to the messages that Ram Dass teaches, right? Um, it kind of summarizes I think what his approach was, which was um, he was seeking, he experienced unconditional love from Maharaji, his guru, and that was a spark that changed his path, or, well, I mean changed his path, but changed it definitely for the way that he saw the world, right? Um, and that was a devotion that he took with him every day that he was here. Um, you know, I think it's really important that we have leaders, right? But I also think it's 10 times as important that those leaders don't see themselves as leaders. Uh, in my own world, I can come off as very arrogant, uh, full of myself, uh, full of shit. But the reality is, is that if you were to ask me, I would tell you don't do the things that I do because you know, we all have paths and mine has been a really rocky one, uh, as I'm sure many people can relate to. Um, I would much prefer to share my experiences and if there's something in there that's a value to somebody, that they're able to take that and apply it as an individual to their own incarnation, right? To their own, what, how they live in this life. Yeah, I truly love that. I also love uh, how it relates to the fact that uh, Ram Dass sort of described these bodies, like who we are, as um, sitting in a control center, right? Because essentially, we're all souls, we're all connected to spirit. Every living thing is part of one. It's part of the same system. It's part of this universe. And so the idea is that these bodies, which break down in time and age and medical situations, 
the idea is that these are just vehicles for navigating the experiences that our souls have on this earth. Um, so I absolutely love that message. Namaste.